What is more important? Is it healthy food or is it portion sizes? The reality is that it's calories in, calories out. As you've probably heard before, that if you have more calories, you'll gain more weight. So if you have the right amount of calories, it doesn't really matter whether it was with healthy food or unhealthy food, you're gonna feel a lot better with healthy food. And that might make you more enthusiastic about exercise and about having the energy to make the right decisions. You know, if you're starving all the time from having more portions of junk food, then you know, you're probably not gonna be in the best mood. So that's not gonna encourage you to keep going. So I think in terms of scientifically, the fat loss aspect of it, it's not really important whether it's healthy food or portion sizes, it just matters about the calories. But in the long term, it's gonna be a lot better for your engagement with it to you have had more food over the course of the day and feel better. Um, but ultimately, you have to do what works for you. This, I keep coming back to this. You must do what's gonna be sustainable and work for you, which the reality, normal people living normal life is that there's a variety. There's times where you have smaller portions of more unhealthy food, and there's times where you have the majority of it is healthy food and you get to have a lot more. Like, it's a mixture. You ha you're gonna end up doing both because you cannot live with just like, I'm not allowed to do this and I have to do that. Those rules are not going to last. And if you feel that you are not allowed to do something, you just want to do it. So I would say that they're both important to have and to do, and it's just all part of what you do and what's in your toolbox. Sometimes you do healthy food, or most of the time you're going to do pretty, pretty valuable food, but then other times you're going to have small portions of not so great food, and that's, that's just living. It's just being a normal person and <laughs> living a normal life. So in the discussion about you know, healthy food versus uh, portion sizes and what the best thing to do is it's it's important to understand the word healthy yeah you know, as opposed to high or low calorie people often come to me and say you know I'm, I'm amazed at how how healthy this food was uh, and they were you know since they've been tracking their calories and looking at you know using the apps and looking at the nutritional information on the box they're like I'm so surprised at how healthy this thing was and the reality is it's not that it was healthy, it's that it was low calorie. Something can be low calorie and not really be that healthy, but also something can be very high in calories, but also be very healthy. So at the end of the day, what that means is that you can get fat on healthy food. You know, nuts and avocado, they are absolutely healthy. They are extremely healthy, but they're also extremely high in calories. So it's very easy to overeat those. You know, one serving of almonds is 12. You know, I mean, you pick up a handful of them and you know, typically that's more than 12. You just might have a couple of handfuls of them on any normal day uh, if you weren't paying attention. And, so, and that's gonna skyrocket the calories you had per day and then you're gonna end up putting on weight. So it's really important to be clear on that. And, and that's why I've said before as well that you wanna make sure that you're looking at the calories, really tracking it properly, so because it's very easy to overeat. And I think that that's a huge insight that you get from tracking it properly. So when we're thinking about the whole portion control thing, meaning still being able to eat junk food, but the, you know, or not so healthy food, uh, but in smaller portions, I suppose it's not all just about portions. It's also about, say for example, if you go to McDonald's or something, you don't have to go full hog and get the, the sundae and a large chips and a large Coke. You, know, you, you can have the burger and that's still not great, but it's a lot better than eating the fat sticks and the, and the sugar drink. You can have the junk, but you have a specific kind. And, and, and so you can still enjoy it and still get to have that, but you don't have to have it all. You know, you do a bit of damage control as you're having that experience and you still get to have it. You know, uh, so it's just you want to be conscious of portion, but also the, the choice. It doesn't have to be a perfect choice, but it can be a better choice. And that makes a big difference, huge difference. So in summary, I'll say that the most important thing is that you are enjoying what you're doing and that it's making you feel good and it's making you want to do more of it, uh, that it's not wearing you down and making you feel restricted and uh, controlled and frustrated 
that's the thing, you know, whether it, the portion size is more important, the healthy foods is more important. These questions to me are secondary to the question of, is this something that is, you, is burning you out and making you not want to do it? That is, a, no matter what it is, no matter how healthy or wonderful it might be, if it is making you frustrated and wanting to quit, then it's bad. It's bad because you will not keep it up. You know, it, it just doesn't happen. So if, if, if it's something that you see as something you can integrate into your lifestyle as something that you will continue to do, uh, and this, you see, yes, this is something that I can see myself doing, not at the end of it feeling like, oh, I really wish I didn't do that. I wish I could have done, you know, had that food or I, had, I wish I didn't have to do this. That's not gonna last. So that is the more important question. Whatever your question is, just that, that should be the first one. Is this, is this frustrating me? Is this something I can see myself doing? Do I not hate doing this? That's the most important thing. So keep that in mind, right? <laughs> Always ask yourself that question first. And um, keep watching the channel. <laughs> so <laughs> subscribe, uh, like the video if you liked it and uh, surf the rest of the channel and see what you might get some value from as well. And um, I'll see you next time.